What does it mean to be a strong Muslim? What is true strength in Islam? Right? And I'm going to tackle that. So, true strength, guys, is not about how good you are at fighting, how physically strong you are, you know, or even how mentally strong you are. Now, these things do correlate with the true strength of Islam, but that's not what it is, right? Strength in Islam, and what it means to be a good Muslim and a strong Muslim, is the strength to stay on the straight path. There's only one path in life. There's only one straight path that humans are designed to follow. And that's the path of God, the path of Allah, the straight line, the straight path. And what it means to be a Muslim is to continue to move forward and stay on the path. Because what true strength is, uh, you know, is, and I got this from Vagabond, so this, this definition of strength is not from the dictionary of English. This definition of strength comes from what strength is in what, from what I learned with Vagabond, which is a Japanese manga, a Japanese samurai manga. But true strength, the way I view it, is to be able to continue to move forward with an unwavering mind. So imagine a mind that doesn't waver, that continues to move forward despite any struggles. Because in life, you're going to have struggles. In life, you're going to get tested. And sometimes those struggles and those tests might take you off the straight path, might take you off of it, all right? But what it means to have true strength is to continue to move forward with an unwavering mind, with a mind that doesn't sway, that doesn't move, that doesn't, um, you know, there's a Japanese word for it, but I can't find the English word. But anyway, that's what it is, guys, okay? is to keep moving on the straight path. That's what it means to be Muslim, because there is only one, there's only one truth of Islam, and that is to stay on the straight path, to stay on the path of Allah. And what it means to be a strong Muslim is to continue to move forward and stay on the straight path and stay strong, stay a strong servant of Allah despite any struggles that may happen in your life. Because there have been a lot of Muslims that have strayed off from the straight path, that have left Islam, right? Because of some struggles they had in their life, okay? But, and they basically, they strayed off of that. But that's not what it is, right? Because... I'm not, I'm not going to say they're weak, but I'm just saying that what it means to be a strong Muslim is to indeed do that, is to stay on the straight path. That's what it is. It's not about how good you are fighting. Now, that's why having a strong mind and having a strong body correlates with this. But that's really what it is. To, what, that's really what it means to be a good Muslim and a strong Muslim, I think, is to have the strength to continue to move forward and stay on the straight path of Allah despite any struggles you may have. Right? It's literally having the courage and the resilience to just keep moving forward, to, to keep trying, to keep moving, right? And moving in the direction of the straight path. Because a lot of people might keep moving, but they move in another direction, right? They might move in like another way of life, right? But that, that's not really what it is, right? You know, because true strength is to keep moving and continuously move and have an unwavering mind that moves towards the path of Allah. And I think that's what a true Muslim is. Because no matter how hard things might get in this world, right? Let's say you lose everything in the dunya. You lose everything. You lose your entire family. You're in the middle of the desert, stranded. You're literally starving to death with no clothes. Like, if you have this, the, the resilient mind and character, right? To be able to keep moving forward, you know, on the path of Allah. And having constant tawakkul in him then that is what it means to be a strong Muslim. It's to stay on the straight path. Like, all we gotta do is just stay on it. Okay? As a Muslim, you just gotta stay there. You gotta stay and move forward towards the straight path. You gotta execute the life that Allah has already given you. Allah has already preordained your life. He has already determined what's gonna hit you. And what's gonna miss you was never gonna hit you. And what was gonna miss you was never gonna hit you, bro. Okay? Like, you just have to execute. Execute your life that Allah has already given you. And what it means to execute your life means to stay on the straight path of Allah, of Allah. Okay? If you're Muslim, then Allah has already determined for you to become a Muslim and to live the Islamic way of life. Right? Which means that all you need to do is just execute your life. Which means execute the straight path. You need to execute the, life, the lifestyle of the straight path. And that's Islam. You literally have to execute Islam in your life. That's all you got to do. And you got to stay there. 
right? Because no matter what tests or what struggles that may happen, things might take you away from Islam, right? And you can't blame these people, right? Because it might be hard to, you know, be a Muslim and maybe something might happen and that might, you know, deviate you from away, away from Islam. But I think what it means to be a true Muslim is to indeed stay on the tra- straight path, to stay on it, right? Because it's so hard to... Sometimes things might be really difficult, right? Um... Especially when it comes to putting on like certain like like putting on the hijabi, right? That might be really hard because like you might get judged. People might think you're a terrorist, right? All these things, right? These these are struggles of of life. Um, but what it means to be a strong Muslim is to continue to wear the hijab, con- continue to stay on the straight path despite any struggles they may have, right? And that's what it means. And this is the this is how I've combined the meaning of strength with the famous samurai Miyamoto Musashi. With the Japanese philosophy of strength and combining it with what does it mean in the context of Islam, right? And I think it's what it is. That's what it means to be a strong Muslim. What it means to be a strong Muslim is not about how strong you are physically, not necessarily how mentally strong you are, or how how much security you have in your wealth or anything. Like that's all dunya. That is all dunya, bro. That's all dunya. True strength means to stay on the straight path, stay on the path of Allah, stay on the path of Jannah. That's all it is, guys. It's so simple. But it doesn't need any more explanation than that. It doesn't need any more explanation. That's literally what it is. That's true strength.